I'm your host, Neil Johnson. So excited to be with you and share the news with you. We have big, big news out of, uh, out of Wisconsin. One of our biggest opportunities. I see a lot of Michiganders on the stream. Please do uh, chat in with where you're from and smash that like button if you would get this stream out there because uh, this is an important story taking place in Wisconsin. There's actually two stories in one. So what's happening out there is there's a shakeup coming in the Supreme Court of Wisconsin. And interestingly, the Supreme Court in Wisconsin uh, actually heard one of Trump's cases back after 2020 and gave him a win. I don't know. A lot of people aren't aware of this. So I'm going to give you a little background on that. But a seat is opening up on the Wisconsin Supreme Court. Um, and it's one of these ultra left justices. Now, th there's just so, so many different directions I could go with this. But I am going to really hold this tight because I'm going to finish this up uh, as quickly as possible. I do want to mention my sponsor really quickly, though, and that's Midas Gold Group. You can get silver there, too. Midas Gold Group, MidasGoldGroup.com. You can text Lumberjack to 232425. Or call them at 480-360-3000. You can also visit them at MidasGoldGroup.com. But if you call them and mention uh, Lumberjack, you can get free silver with a qualifying order. This is an American Silver Eagle coin. I just ordered a bunch of these. Um, I, I typically get Canadian Maple Leafs. They carry less of a premium. Uh, I'm more interested in the actual silver content. But, uh, but Eagles have always carried that premium, and I just wanted to get some. So, pff, whatever, I got some. Anyways... Just thanks so much for joining me because this is a big story and this is going to require some citizen action. So a liberal Wisconsin Supreme Court just, an, justice announces uh, retirement. That that you, you have to understand just how big this is, people. This is where ballot draw boxes were decided in the state of Wisconsin by one vote when they had an actual conservative majority in the Supreme Court of Wisconsin. I, I'm so tired of having to talk about Supreme Courts as as liberal or conservative, when we should just be interested in fairness following the constitutions of each individual state and for the United States Supreme Court and federal courts following the Constitution of the United States of America. Good to see Colorado on the stream, Tom. My good friend George or Behizzi is out there. So I'm going to just kind of read and I'm, I'm going to first read the news about this gal so you understand that. But then I'm going to go into why this is so critical. It is so critical, people. If you are in Wisconsin, or if you know people in Wisconsin, please share this because this is this is uh, this is one of the biggest things. Look, there was another seat that came up just a little while ago that they held election on. Scott Pressler was sounding the drums about it. Uh, not enough conservatives got out and voted. Typically, incumbents have a large advantage to begin with, but conservatives. I'll be frank in this one. I mean, I understand all the problems with elections. Uh, but conservatives did not show up. They did not treat it uh, like it was all that important. And as a result, uh, we lost to that conservative majority went to a conservative minority. Now, they, granted, there's other things going on. Out that if we're not involved and all these people who run around saying, oh, why would you vote? You know, because it's just it's not worth it and all that. Please just stop. I'm not the channel for you. Just go find somewhere else. You know, I see the comments. I, I mean, I've, I've had to silence some comments. I figure you're like a, a, some deep state troll operative who just wants to make it easier uh, for, for liberals uh, to kite elections. OK, that's honestly what I think. Do you guys all agree with that? Uh, I, I, I just have no time for it. People who say, you know, you shouldn't vote or I just don't. Um, we. Uh, yeah, liberal Wisconsin Supreme Court Justice Ann Walsh Bradley. The state's longest serving liberal justice has declared she will not seek re-election next year. The announcement came on Thursday, stirring the political landscape of Wisconsin, where a liberal majority secured just a year prior hangs in the balance. That's that, that election I'm talking about. I mean, they, that, that election was basically 45-5 to 54-5, something like that. It was almost 10 points, okay? Because, I'm telling you, conservatives did not show up. I've looked at the numbers. They did not show up to vote in Wisconsin. Okay, so if you understand the problems with our election system, it's all centered around inflating voter rolls. Okay, utilizing drop boxes and mail-in ballots. That's the issue. Okay, um, but it's so much easier when people don't show up to vote. He, he, at that point, you don't even have to have to cheat. <laughs> it's so ridiculous. Okay. Justice Bradley, a key figure in the court's 4-3 liberal majority, majority, 
has been in, in a judge for nearly three decades, people, on the Supreme Court. Her decision to step down comes at a critical juncture, this out of Gateway Pundit, by the, by the way, with the liberal majority that was established with Janet Pratazwitz, I can't even pronounce the lady's name, last year is now facing uncertainty. So, and, and I'm telling you, this <sighs> Pratazwitz or whatever her name is, um, Janet, we'll just call her Janet, she is like left of left, people. I mean, this lady's a wackadoo. She's like the Sotomayor of Wisconsin, okay? I just want you to just understand that, okay? So that was 15 years it had been conservative. That's a great question, Boda Bob. I'm going to get to that. I just, uh, I will get to that question. It can, be re it can be recalled liberal groups allegedly paid voters $250 to sway their votes for the leftist Supreme Court candidate, Janet, last year. This amounts to election bribery. That's a felony in Wisconsin, punishable by up to three years in prison. But of course, we know we know that's not going to be prosecuted. Okay, uh, but like here it is. So there was a um, uh, Wisconsin takes action, and this is what they sent out. They said we are helping elect a progressive majority to the Wisconsin Supreme Court. We are offering an opportunity for you to earn two hundred fifty dollars by talking to your friends and family about voting. Okay, and then it would go on. They wanted you to go out and vote for this lady and talk to your friends and family about it, and they were offering you money to do so. In a statement released Thursday, Justice Bradley reflected on her extensive career beginning as a circuit court judge in Marathon County before ascending to the Supreme Court 29 years ago. So this is why she says she's leaving, okay? But again, this is, people, if you're in Wisconsin, if you know anybody in Wisconsin, oh my gosh, this is... I don't think people get the importance of these elections. Well, I know they don't, or they would have shown up last year, okay? It just pains me. Like, this is like, uh, this is the news, people, okay? Um, this this is the news. And this is where we need to take action. Because if you lose these state Supreme Courts, and again, you have to remember, so the victory that they gave Trump um, back after 2020 dealt with the indefinitely confined, it was called. So if you know the history on this, 4-3, the decision came down that they had overused the indefinitely confined status. And in a state that was decided by not that many votes, I can't even remember the exact numbers, I think it was somewhere around 10,000. And they had a hundred and some odd thousand indefinitely confined voters. Okay, these are the people from nursing homes and all this, or, or people that just said they were indefinitely confined. You didn't even have, that was all because of COVID, okay, and everything. But... When, when that ruling came down, they said, yes, it was overused. Uh, this was not following the law. And so what was their answer, though, to, what their answer was, though, to dealing, what their remedy was, I should say, to dealing with that, uh, I guess, election shenanigans, I'm going to call it, was that Trump team had to reach out. Now, this was in late December. It was decided with an inauguration coming up on, uh, you know, in January. And um, so as that was decided in the vote in Congress on January 6th, they had to reach out to all those people, 100 and some odd thousand people, and find the ones who did not use and definitely confined correctly. There was not enough time. So even though he got a win, we couldn't deliver a victory on the win. I hope I'm making sense. Uh, they had to reach out and then contact those. They would not negate those votes. If they had, Trump would have won the state of Wisconsin. But instead, then Trump had Trump's team had to go out and prove each one of those indefinitely confined is not. And it was obvious, okay, I, it was frustrating. But nonetheless, when courts looked at Trump's cases on the merits and did not dismiss him on standing, he actually won more than he lost. That is a lost narrative on society. Okay. Thank you, Cliff. Yes, got to win, but lost the war. Um, so here's why she says she's retiring. The people of Wisconsin have three times elected me to serve on the Supreme Court. It's been an honor of a lifetime to serve the people of the state, Bradley said. My decision has not come lightly. It was made after careful consideration and reflection. I know I can do the job and do it well. I know I can win re-election should I run. And honestly, she's probably right. I hate to say that. But it's you need to understand in elections, there is this swath in the middle who don't even follow the Supreme Court at all. 
and they're just going to vote for the the incumbent. So now you have a fresh race coming. This this is the biggest opportunity. Uh, it's going to be one of the top fives. I won't say it's the biggest. It is one of the top five opportunities that conservatives will have this election cycle, hands down, is this seat in Wisconsin Supreme Court. Um, uh, upon completion of my third term, I look forward to embarking upon a new chapter in my life, which will include public service that is guided by the same principles of justice, fairness, and dedication that have defined my tenure on the court, and so on. Governor Tony Evers, Evers, I should say, it's Evers, uh, was excited about. Now, Tony Evers, uh, I, I'm going to get into the second part of this story, dealing with Tony Evers here in just a second, but he made this statement regarding the Supreme Court justice, uh, you know, our sincerest gratitude and appreciation to Justice Bradley. Uh, he goes on and lauds her and all that. So Brad Scheimel, the former Republican attorney general, has already thrown his hat into the ring for the upcoming election. Meanwhile, Wisconsin GOP chairman Brian Schimming laud Bradley's retirement, criticizing the influence of far-left activists on the court and signaling the GOP's intent to capture the seat with a common-sense conservative justice. I congratulate Justice Bradley on her retirement. Wisconsin Democrat from Hollywood to try and purchase another Supreme Court seat. Voters in Wisconsin are tired of far-left activists on the court and will elect a common conservative. We will see about that, okay? Because here's the other big problem right now going on in Wisconsin. Oh, God help us. This story dropped 10 days ago, okay? I wasn't able to cover it back then, but this is very important. As voters head to the polls, Governor Tony Evers urges Supreme Court to restore ballot drop boxes. We had one of the biggest wins in the court where drop boxes were ruled illegal in Wisconsin. They were using vans. I, they had mobile voting vans, everything. I, I, Wisconsin is, I, I mean, this is Michael Spitzer Rubin signed the four of the five keys at the ballroom in Green Bay, Wisconsin. If any of you have followed election integrity, I know some of you are new to my channel and haven't, but my, many of my folks will because this is, this is the issue, people. This is the issue. If we do not have transparent, open, free, and fair elections in this nation, we are doomed. This is the issue. I hope people get this. I, I just, so many don't. Um, sorry, I'm getting kind of frustrated. I, I just, Madison, Governor Tony Evers is asking the state Supreme Court to overturn a ruling that banned absentee ballot drop boxes beyond election clerk's offices. Evers, Evers, I'm sorry, filed a brief the same day as the state's presidential primary, asking the court to overturn a 2022 ruling that limited the location of drop boxes in Wisconsin. The brief was filed in a case the court recently agreed to hear. So the Supreme Court, to hear this now, with a liberal majority. Does everybody, everybody get this? Everybody understand how important this is? The, the, the thing you need to understand, my friend Marcus D said this, and people, we cannot be this way. Many of you know Marcus D. He said, liberals fight till they win, conservatives fight till they lose. And this is why I get so pissed off and why I sometimes I, I do. I, t I tell people to just stop following me uh, on this because I can't deal with their comments about how, oh, Neil, you don't understand. We're just going to lose. We're going to lose in perpetuity. We might as well not even go. <laughs> okay. I I'm so sick of that. I'm so sick of that. God help us all. I'm so sick of that. <sighs> We have to go out. Look, right now, Mark Elias is in a panic. He is on MSNBC almost every freaking day talking about these things because he is losing in court across the nation. He's losing. And that didn't happen post-2020. They they were winning all over the place. And, and winning on standing, not on merits. Okay? And so now we have a situation here where you're seeing they are fighting and clawing their way back in the state of Wisconsin to keep those drop boxes in place because they need them. They can't win without them. 
So all across our country, election officials have, this is a quote from Evers, all across our country, election officials have chosen to use drop boxes to ensure that all eligible voters can freely cast their ballots. And they've done so while keeping ballots safe and secure, Evers said in a statement. Bull. Sha, sha, sha. I won't say it. Anyways, at the very heart of our democracy is the fundamental freedom to vote. Dropbox voting is safe and secure, and there is nothing in Wisconsin's election laws that prohibit our local clerks from using this secure option, absent an incorrect ruling by our courts. Uh, actually, no, that's not the case. All this election law is written, and guess what is not in this? Drop boxes. If you were going to file an absentee ballot in Wisconsin, and I'm going back in my mind right now, I covered so much election law, okay? over the course of time, and I don't have it in front of me, but I do believe that in Wisconsin, your absentee ballots had to be dropped off with your local clerk. That's in the law. The law is set by the state legislature, not the freaking courts. And the courts to override the will of the legislature is wrong. Okay? In his brief, ever said that the law empowers municipal clerks with the discretion to establish and operate drop boxes in their communities as one option for voting. The current interpretation of the law, he said, has created unnecessary confusion and constraints on local election officials, blocking them from doing what made sense for their communities. People, if we don't stop this crap, we're going to lose our country. If we don't get this conservative justice elected in the state of Wisconsin when we have this big of an opportunity, we're screwed. Okay? We are. Uh, this is the issue. This, this is the stuff you need to pay attention to. Okay, Fonnie Willis, the drama down there, I, I have to cover it all the time because I will be frank, that's what everybody wants to hear about. And the only way I'm going to grow a subscriber base to get them to this real news is to cover that stuff. But this is the real news. Do you guys understand what I'm saying? Yes or no? Just please answer that in the chat. I, I mean, the court cases are important, and it's important to expose Fonnie Willis. But, you know, she is like a soap opera, okay? But this right here... I'm telling you people, if we don't solve this, okay, what's going to happen in Fulton County with, uh, with Harrison Floyd down there is he's going to expose so much. And you continually see this happening in the state of Georgia right now. That's the real story in Fulton County, Georgia. Okay, that's the real story. Uh, the real story is that, you know, Harrison Floyd... Uh, has people on, uh, you know, police body cam footage, people. I, if you haven't seen this, you need to. It's too hot for this platform. You got to be on X, okay? It's all over X. Um, you know, my handle for Twitter is down below, okay? Um, this, Elon Musk, the X is not perfect. But I am telling you right now, it is your best chance for getting out really unpopular news, Okay. <laughs> I am just, uh, I'm just being honest with you. I will continue to do live streams and such. I've Look, next week, I just want you guys to know, I am not going to be able to get as much done. I'm going to do a few really good podcasts, okay, uh, next week. I am going to be out in the state of New Hampshire. And I want to ask another question and to kind of get, I've got somebody who's willing to fund to a certain point this documentary that I'm doing uh, on New Hampshire. But this is it's like a it's like a rico thing going on in new hampshire and it's not just in new hampshire uh, but this deals with elections with the governor with all of it and i am curious if i set up a give son go you're not under obligation but if i did that to help fund that so we could produce a better product in the end would you guys be willing to uh you know i mean i don't care if it's five bucks ten bucks something like that whatever you could give just to help produce a better documentary and to help produce better distribution for that. Um, yeah, cold just hit 24, 24 people. I got, I just bought a bunch of gold at the right time. And silver is, is almost up to 30 bucks. I'm telling you, did, did you know Zimbabwe just went back? To, I just saw the comment. I got a comment on it. But Zimbabwe just went to gold back currency. Zimbabwe. Freaking Zimbabwe. Okay. Or uh, I, did, I believe it was Zimbabwe. Uh, anyways. Um, Viking Funeral says, I'm in Superior, Wisconsin, Douglas County. I'm going to mobilize every conservative I know to go vote. I'm loving that. Thank you so much, Viking Funeral. Okay. Would I be in the credits if I donated? I don't know, Salty Smurf. I haven't thought this through enough. I know what I have to work with. Okay. Uh, I know what I have to work with. But 
I'm just, I haven't thought all of that through yet. We are going to produce. So just so you understand, my background is in videography and photography. I do this YouTube stuff off an iPhone, people, because uh, you you who have followed my channel know I've been almost wiped by YouTube a couple times. I've been demonetized and all of that. So, um, you know, currently it's monetized. Currently it's all good and everything. But uh, but I, I do uh, videos for companies. We do... Um, you know, commercials and explainers and that kind of thing. And we shoot some really great stuff. Okay. Um, so support Trump all the way, Australia, Trump 2024. But the story in, thank you for that super chat. But the story in um, in New Hampshire is very big and broad and, and reaching. So anyways, I would like to create better uh, distribution and, and, and send the editor more money to spend more time on it. Cause editing is really, it's in that edit suite where you really make a difference in those things to create maximum impact. So that's why I just asked the question again, you don't have to, but, it, uh, I was just trying to get a handle on that. So, um, thanks for listening, please, for the love of all things, uh, get out there, uh, get involved. Uh, Wisconsin is key. Go check out my sponsor, Midas Gold Group, MidasGoldGroup.com. I mean, I, I just picked up a bunch of this stuff uh, two weeks ago, and people, the, it has returned so much money. It's ridiculous. I mean, it's just crazy. Uh, and, uh, you know, more more countries, I believe, you know, I don't have a, a silver, uh, whatever, crystal ball, but I do believe more countries are going to move to gold back currency because they want to get off the American dollar because look at what we've done to com- countries like Russia you know, when we, when we don't agree with them, we try to bring them down just by utilizing a currency war. Okay. Uh, so that's what it is. Anyways, thanks for joining me. All right. I love y'all. See you in the next episode.